so we're talking about picking out fabric today at Joann's and I am wanting to talk about blues. There's the true blue color, which is something like this. It almost could be a navy, but it's really more the true blue. This is a blue gray fabric. And then we have the green blues in this one. So if we like this fabric and we were to pick a blue color to go with it, this is not, even though there's a lot of green in this, it's not necessarily the green blue. It's a true blue that's in it. So the, but also the, the patterns don't match well. This is more of a fancy fantasy type fabric and this is a more traditional fabric. I wouldn't put these two together. This, when you put it next to it, even though it's blue, it's really gray. So it doesn't go well with this fabric either. The best one would be our true blue with a true blue in here. Even though they're the not the same blue color, they have the same true hue in them where there's not a gray or a green mixed in. And I think they're really pretty together. Pull that out again. This is a real navy. It's, is that shiny? That, that it does have a, a embossed silver diamond on it. And something like this can go pretty with it. Even though it's a little more blue, it has a lot of navy in it. So something like that does go really it's well. It also really would go well with this blue as well. It, except for when you look at it, look, it brings it out more gray. Oh, it it does. does make that look a little more gray. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. When you put it next to each other. But then we have this blue. And it makes this blue here look more purple. Isn't that funny? So it's nice to be able to lay your things out next to each other. We're looking at blues to go with this multicolor fabric. This is more of a green blue, but it's in the butterflies, as well as this purple blue is in the butterflies. So it does go really well. Maybe. So the top one goes with the, the middle. Yes. And not necessarily with the bottom. Yeah, it's not totally jiving with this one for me. That goes with it. We're pulling more more into the teals, the blue greens. Yeah. But look at these bright greens here. You could then go that way oh, to yeah. could we pull some like this one. See, that's really pretty with it because it's pulling out the greens instead of focusing on the teals, which means this lighter one would go well with it as well oh, looks good. see it kind of surprises you right yes. <laughs> if this were your center square then you'd have i wouldn't put this with it because i don't like the obvious daisy the cartoony uh -huh. daisy with the realistic flower oh. that's me um let's see but pick it out it's lighter Yeah, you could because it's almost pulling the gray out of it. As soon as I put it next to it, I noticed the gray oh, in the floral. Right. Do you see that? Yes. So that actually, I almost would want to go see if we could find a pur This has the purpley blue, which means you probably could pull if you really like that fabric better. That's, that looks really good with that. That looks really good with it too. I wouldn't do both. I'd pick one or the other. Right. Because you only want one shade of very dark. Yeah. Yeah. So you might want to go with pulling a little bit of purple blue a little more or a lighter teal. Or stick with those turquoises. A lighter The right blue green color that I want. So I'm picking up my center color, the, the base color fabric that we are going off of. And I'm gonna hold it right up and go, okay, which one's popping? This one pops. This one pops. Do you see that? So I can, now that you pulled it out. That's really pretty with it. Yeah. And that too. Mm. It's got a lot of purple blue in it. As soon as I pulled right. it out, the purple started showing up. And there's purples with teals in this right. fabric. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go, I would say, I would probably wouldn't pull a gray in here because we're doing a log cabin quilt with one color on one side and one color on the other. I probably wouldn't pull a gray in. Right. That makes sense. Okay. So if I were to hold this up again, look at that. That oh, totally goes right. too. I saw that myself. 
Yay for me. We can add a color. So see, it's very similar to that. Oh yeah. So we're going more green, teal greens versus yeah. blues. But you wanted more blues. Right. But this has got both, but it's really geometric. Yeah. That so I'm nice. totally, even though the colors are great, I'm not in love with the patterns. Agreed. I'll hold this for you. Oh, look, there's that butterfly with different colors. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that fun? Okay. So what about, we don't so we want to go. So blues, not turquoises. So do you want to go this way? Yep. I was just looking at this blue okay it's a purple blue i see that. it's almost more purple next to it than it is blue i kind of like it do you like the patterns together uh-huh we have already have a, a dot on a polka dot on the other okay. side on the green sides so that's an option yeah let's pull that out okay so if we put this back here and we do and you can it's up to you if you want to turn it off or not because it's going. kind of crazy. But see, I don't, I don't love it with that. Can you see that? Yeah. So if I were to stick that back in there. Okay. What's wrong with that? That starry fabric is maybe clashing with the flowery. The color is great. Right. The, the fact that it's maybe not the right design. Right. Okay. I think. So do you still, I still don't mind these two together. Right. But I'm. Right. But if you we put were that doing in purple. there. So here's one thing to look at too. But adding this makes this the light color now instead of the medium it now went to the light light medium dark oh. but really you got two darks and a medium we need to find a light that reads light next to these or these are too clashing i think so i think we should take this one this is our color so we've got this uh, sorry That's not bad. I don't know. That color is a good color with that. Mm -hmm. I'm not loving it with this. Uh, there's this. I bet you don't like that pattern. No, not in. Not okay. In so. Pretty, and that's more of blues mm -hmm. and green. Yeah, let's see what different than this watercolor green. See, but it's too much print next to that one. No, but if it was my, if it was, if it was your if center, it was my center, mm, your these greens oh, wouldn't work. work. But these colors all do. <laughs> right. So if you were go towards the blue side. This would help you bring in your blues and your grays. Right. So it's according to right. what you're in love with. If you're still in love with this or you're still in love with this pattern. I love them both. That is the hard part. There's lots of pretty fabrics to love. That's, that's true. <laughs> and if you're in love with these greens, you really like these greens when you pull them out. Right. So something like this is bringing these greens in better. We could even go, well, as I say, you could even go with another darker green and just do all greens. Right. But I wonder if that would be weird where it ha I think you need to pull in some of these other blues. Okay. It was hiding. Wow, those are like perfect for what I'm thinking. Okay. Think? I think it's beautiful and it's a great center piece or uh, yeah, it's a great, so it if- It has more concrete. Uh, Oops, sorry. You're okay. I'm pulling these out for now. All of these blues are in there. 
it almost has more of a yellow green. I don't like this green. This one's too gray for it. Oh, I see the difference. Oh, wow. See, that really makes that gray green pop. I think, think that would work. Um, I've been doing it for 25 years. <laughs> and I play with fabric all the time at my house. <laughs> so that's pretty, I almost would think where these are this very close to the same tone. I, say, I like the it? tinier print next to it or we find a lighter one, but. So yeah, do we need to go? We almost need to go a little bit lighter, don't we? Do you think? I, I think like because the log cabin quilts are based on shades, and these are this. I feel like these are like the same tone. Okay, I do. Do I do too? I do really? too. Yeah. What the heck? So, do you? Which one of these do you like better? I don't know. I love the, I love the daisy. But there's daisies here, and so this is a different. I have, I have a lot of flowers. Uh huh. So. Would flowers be a good one or a flower? It, it, let's you? see what they have. I mean, I'm just saying if you like this one, if this one's going, oh, I really like that, mm -hmm. let's pick a different one of these and maybe a lighter color. So. I don't mind it with this, but I think that's a big jump. It's almost like it needs the green to tie into it. Gotcha. Do you see that? I do. I'm wondering if we need to look in a different spot. What do you think about that? It's not necessarily lighter, but it's a different green. It's got more of the yellow in it. Do you like that? Because it makes this look way more. It's got green, but it's blue green. So we're. But I think it could work. I don't I'm. It's making the little bits of green in the butterflies pop. Oh, it does. I feel like it doesn't go. With it doesn't this. go with this. Yeah. How funny. So what, so what about this one, which is the other one I like there. So that's the same. I can I feel like those those are a little better. Do they do they look better together? I feel like they do. I think they could work. Um, I was wondering about these other greens that we had. Yeah, the bottom one's my favorite. That is a fun one. So you put it up with that butterfly. It's it's in it's it's in the butterfly. So do you like it for a medium? I don't like that light with that medium. You don't like do those you, two together? Do you, I mean, I feel like I feel like they work because they both have yellow in them. They're both yellow greens. Okay. This is just a bigger jump in hue. I don't necessarily like it with this one. I don't know why, because it said lemon hue too, but maybe it's the pattern. So sometimes that's what you, your body's like, oh, I don't like that. And it's because it's the pattern. Mm, I don't like that one either. This is just a really different one. Right. That one I kind of feel would be a good center one just because it's so, a good center. You know what I mean? But I, I like that it has two colors. I don't know. I feel like the pattern's too big. For, okay. Yeah, I think that's it. The pattern might be too big for okay small lines. we do have a lot of small patterns in here so which one did we like we liked this and we like this right okay. i think so yes because we took the daisy out uh-huh and put that in so i still feel like these are two of the same shade Okay. Is this, is this lighter than this? No, they are the same shade. But because they're different enough in color, I think that they could work mm -hmm. because it'll be obviously different. Okay. Um, but if you don't like it together, then that's a different thing. Right. If, you, if you're like, uh, I feel like the tone is, is it too yellow? I, yes. Yellow's you're just too yellow. Yeah, okay. Like split pea soup all of a okay. So we had this one that was more of a blue green that had dots. Let's try it again. Okay. And I just feel like it's almost too gray green. I see. 
what you mean when you say yeah that. it really brings that gray out in it okay. so that's this is the hardest part is finding that last little green that we're just not finding the right thing that's where you go okay we can go to another store and look or we can go online or you know because they're limited to what they have they might have something behind the counter as well we could look there Oh, that's fun. Let's see that next to it. Oh, that looks good. There oh, we go. Oh, sorry. I oh. totally stabbed you. That makes it go. Do you see that? We took out the greenness, the teal greenness, and went with just blue. So we've got the blue hues. With, And so it, this works because instead of making this a teal green, there's teal green in here. But instead of pointing that out, you're pointing out just the blues, like from the flowers. I like it. Do that you like it? Do you still like this with it? I like the idea that it's natural. Like yeah. It's kind of like a tree trumpet. Yeah, yeah. So I do. And it made this go light. It did. I really. Isn't that funny? Yeah, because if we weren't going to find a lighter color. And I like that you have this one and this one that are both more na natu nature looking. You've got obvious prints with these and then melds. I call them melds. They don't really have anything, any sort of pattern to them. Mm, gotcha. So I think that goes really well. Awesome. So now these are what we've picked as our borders because we really like the print where it's going to be our biggest outermost border. We also did not want to, we knew that our darker fabrics, like, I can't pull it out because it's stuck under the fabrics. The dark blue, there's already going to be a lot of it, and there's already going to be a lot of the dark green because there are two biggest strips in our log cabin. So because we have a lot of these, we didn't want them as the borders. Uh, she didn't want them as the borders, and that's okay. So we, whatever you put in your borders, it is what brings out in the rest of your quilt. So if there's a fabric you really love in your quilt, in the center of your quilt, like this butterfly, you want to put it in the border as well because it will make it pop. So these colors will pop more, a little more than these, even though these will still pop because they are dark in hue, they will still pop. But these will bring them out more, and that's what she wants. So that's why we went with these three for her three borders. We're talking backings and we were realizing, wow, what a cost for the back. But look, this price right now on sale for the broadcloth is a broadcloth a great way to do a backing. It works great for a back and um, it's a much cheaper price. So you can do a sheet, but sometimes even the broadcloth might be even cheaper when you have a great sale.